we were filming at 12, man. Uh, just gonna get you to go out there. I'm, we'll, fi we'll uh, fi 15 minutes. Okay. Jesus Christ. This episode is sponsored by Glowhost, the host with everything you need. Get unlimited disk space and bandwidth for just one low price. Use code SWASHIN for 54% off and click the link in the description for more info. So let's talk about this desk. This is the Zor or Zaur uh, Misa or Misa or Misa Jar Jar Binks X2. Uh, it is gorgeous. It's awesome. I'm really loving it. And this is the Titanium Wenge Gray. That's what I went for. They also have Black Cherry, which actually these right here, not the same company or anything, but this is Black Cherry. Um, I didn't think it really worked that well in this scenario. So that's why I opted for Titanium Wenge. And that's why I went for the Gray paneling on the back because I think it just looks really, really nice. Think about all of the pops of color. There's gonna be a lot of chroma, wink, wink, you know, nudging at the future there. Um, a lot of RGB, you know, we have Philips Hue, we have Nano Leaf, we have tons of things like that. Plus the monitors are gonna have stuff on them. So there's gonna be a huge pop of color in this corner. And I thought that kind of making everything a muted gray kind of works out. And then the rest is this nice brown and black finish. So I really like Titanium Wenge and uh, it's just a great desk. It's actually MFC, if I'm remembering correctly. That's what this is made out of. This thing is solid. It is thick with two C's. And let me just be honest, this thing weighs a lot. When it shipped to us, it was freight. It was over 400 pounds in shipping and they do not skimp. On the boxes, I, I think, you know, cameraman can shake up and down. Those boxes are legit. They were thick as hell. So this desk is definitely no joke. Let's break it down though. Top layer, bottom layer, layer under that. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of things all integrated into this desk already that make it worth the money. So first things first is this top layer, which if you take a look, it has such a cool random shape to it. It's got sort of like a hexagon, a gone of some sorts with multiple sides. I don't know which gone it is, but uh, I really just love the uniqueness of it. And of course here in the middle, we have a grommet, which is gonna be super cool. Now for me specifically, I am not actually gonna put anything on top of this. The monitors, which we have three, a 35 inch ultra wide and two 27 inch monitors, they're gonna be wall mounted and they're gonna be pretty close to here because this is already raised up from the main tabletop. So they're gonna be pretty close and just kind of going across. And I think that's gonna take up basically all of the length of this, if not more. I mean, they're gonna be angled in so it won't look bad or anything, but um, yeah. So we're just gonna kind of have this open. I could put stuff up on here if I want, do I have to? No, that's the beauty of having wall mounted monitors. Also, the desk actually comes with these ISO acoustics apertura or something, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, it comes with these and technically you put them right up here and you're all good to go. Now, someone will normally have like a ultra wide monitor and then their isolation pads and then their monitors, you know, and it will be like beautiful control center. Yay, awesome. But for me, because of the three monitors, I can't actually fit the speakers on here. So instead I'm using the HS8 monitors from Yamaha and since they're so damn big, they're gonna go on their own stands in the corner. So base traps look gorgeous. I'll get to that in a second, but that's how that's gonna work. So this whole top is not gonna be used for anything at all. So now let's talk about this section over here, rack mounts, which is one of the things that makes this desk absolutely awesome. Now it is 12U in total. We got 4U, 4U, and you guessed it, 4U. Uh, and what's really awesome about this is just, you know, in a normal typical control room setting, you're gonna see some really cool equipment, you know, mounted in there. Now for me, do I have thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on all these different things? No, of course not. So. Uh, I have to get a little creative and I've actually come up with some interesting ideas. Now I did find this site, Adam Hole. They have these like really cool tube LED uh, lights that I wanna put in the one U section. So we'll go one U, one U, one U. And those would just be 
RGB lights. Now they do have like the actual strips that cast out, but these are like really cool looking. I think they could be uh, pretty awesome. The only problem is I don't think I want to spend that kind of money, They're like 70 bucks a pop. And the reason why I don't really want to spend money on that is because I have even more ideas. So the next idea I have is just some like DB meters, some volume uh, sound displays. And basically they have RCA out in the back. And I was thinking I could technically just put like a little cheap mic and it would just pick up the sound in the room. So if I'm listening to music or something like that, they could actually have here and on here volume meters. So like, it'll look really cool. You know, more lights, people love lights. So I feel like that would be pretty cool. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments. That's also expensive. So if I start buying all this stuff, I could easily spend 500 to $1,000 on things just to go in the racks. So I had an idea. I have two Elgato stream decks. I was thinking, hey, I should use 2U because I measured it and everything. 2U right here in the dead center and I'll put both of them right there. Custom, be really cool. Now, the problem is I don't know how to get this or where to get this. I don't have the machinery to do so. So does anybody in the community know where or who I could contact to actually fabricate the, it's funny because I've been having trouble saying the word fabricate. You want to, want to cue a montage? Here's the montage. If you know anyone that can actually fabricate that, fra fabricate, fabricate, fabricate. If anyone's able to fabricate that, fab, 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 fabricate, 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 fabricate. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, fa fabricate. Fabricate. There you go. Fabricate. If someone could help me custom make it, there we go. That's a better way to say it. Um, that would be awesome. So I want them somewhat close to each other. Uh, if you ever seen the stream deck, it has a little bit of like a border around it. I feel like you can make it mount pretty easily uh, and it'll look really cool. And I could like put a decal on the empty space or something like that. Um, so let me know if anyone out there can help because that would be insane. And then that way, when I'm like, you know, I just beep, 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 beep. And I feel like that'd just be super cool. So let me know if anybody can help me out in the comment section down below. Other things. Um, I don't know. What else do you guys think I should put in the rack mounts? I was thinking I could just get like blank plates to kind of like cover up whatever I'm not using for now. And then I can always come up with something later. I know people have Xbox One mounts and they have, you know, different consoles and stuff. Maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. So now let's talk about this, the main tabletop. Now, um, this is where my keyboard's gonna go, my mouse, my mouse pad, and really that's probably about it. I don't wanna clutter it too much, but it gives me the perfect amount of room. I kinda like the space I got. Um, now, the one kind of concern I have is how am I gonna cable manage? Normally what I'll do is I'll drill a hole and bring the cables through that way, but uh, I don't know if I wanna do that to a $3,000 desk. I'm sure you could get a clean cut if you really wanted to, um, but mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Now, um, I was going for a wireless mouse, ended up having to get a wired one, so that's kind of a bummer, but maybe I can use the one you at the bottom as like a pass-through, and I could just like, whoop, and it'll just kind of like disappear into the universe, you know? So maybe I'll do that, um, but that's all this section's used for. Now let's talk about this section. So this right here is what people would use for uh, you know, big control mixer boards, things like that. Um, they would use it for full length keyboards. They have all the cable pass-throughs, one, two, and three. Um, but for me, I only have a pretty decent size MIDI keyboard I got sent out for this project. So I'll be putting that right here, dropping fat beats on the side. DJ Matty P, stay tuned. Um, but I like it because it's technically on wheels. It goes right back in, super easy. It's not, you know, it doesn't move too fast. Plus, we actually have a uh, computer storage right there. Now for me personally, my computer's not gonna go in there only because it's just insanely epic and I really wanna put it on display so I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it but it's gonna have a really nice laser engraved side panels so stay tuned for that. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to, like a strong male, <laughs> hey, come behind my desk, guys. Hey. This is one of the coolest things about this desk. Uh, first off, the back just looks insanely cool, but we actually have all of these little pass-throughs for cables, plus, we'll show it from the other side. Um, here we go, ha-ha, look at that. Cables go in here, and it's cool. I, I like it, very nice stuff. So I really like that feature, I think that's awesome. Technically, this is a shelf 
right here, you can stuff, you know, different things in this little nook right here. If you want to put like a, I don't know, a power brick or really, you know, just your stash. I mean, <laughs> you just put it all right here. <laughs> Plus we have a shelf right here you can use for stuff, which is really nice to have as well. Uh, and also I want to mention, um, when my brother and dad built it, they didn't take any of the damn stickers off. So still have stickers and also these like nuts and stuff. I kind of want to like cover them up with a sticker cause there's a ton of them and they're all like bright silver and like really easy to see. So I kind of want to just hide them cause they're a little bit of an eyesore. Um, but other than that, I mean, you can just see this desk is freaking nuts nuts so when i got this desk the company said hey do you also want acoustic treatment and i was like yeah let's do it so they actually put together a whole proposal and stuff like that as you can see on the screen right now and it shows literally what the difference will be in sound and all that fun stuff and it was pretty cool i was blown away so then they actually sent all of that stuff out and here we go, it's now up. Now, we weren't able to use all of it. We didn't really get um, exactly the right amount and it's actually a lot more for some things and a lot less for some things, but we made it work. So over here we have these super extreme bass traps. These things are pretty cool. They're actually insanely nice looking. You can see the other one in that corner. Uh, I'm really digging how it looks. And plus, like I said, the HS8s are gonna go right in front of it. So it's gonna look really nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. We, did, we do have the desk pulled out right now, by the way. But anyways, uh, let's go over to this side. So now over here, we have what is called the Multifuser Wood 64 in white. And we got so much of this. I actually think we got more than we were supposed to because I have boxes still. And this stuff is extremely heavy. So it may look like, oh, it's a little cute. Thing. It's, it's heavy, it's really heavy and uh, it's super cool. I'm not sure if I really think white was like the best choice. Uh, kind of like if you look at all this over here, it's like all, dark and, and whatnot and then we got like this big pop of white i'm still not sure about it but my dad said you know i could go to like an auto body shop and maybe have them painted and uh because they actually come off in four so they're little sections uh you know he said why not do the light blue for swashing and then the dark blue for swashing dark blue for swashing light blue for swashing it could look cool it could be a little different um don't get me wrong i love the three-dimensional look to it i think it's epic uh really really cool really like it now um, these things off to the side are flexi waves. Now, the flexi wave, what's weird, I'm holding a flexi wave right here, is we only have six. I don't know how we were supposed to actually accomplish what the proposal looked like, the, the 3D mock-up, because they had these on each side of the four sets, but we only have six of these, and I can't find the other flexi wave, so I, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't do it exactly as the mock-up looked like, so we just kind of went with it and now we have extra, two extra of these. Then over here we have flat panels, VMT. Uh, they're literally just kind of like Velcro to the wall. They're pretty thick, uh, pretty solid too. Uh, it's definitely absorbing a lot. Uh, don't get me wrong, I really like it, except I think the problem is when you do a 3D pattern that has this you know, really cool look to it, any sort of misalignment is extremely noticeable. And trust me, we messed with this for a while. Every time we would kind of like put it down a bit and get it to match up, it would kind of like separate at the bottom. I don't know, it just didn't work out perfectly. And then we have a little sl sliver right here. And that's not how the mock-up looked. The mock-up was these two things next to each other and then flat panel. But we still have tons of this left and nowhere to put it. So I don't know if we got sent more of some things and less of others, I don't know. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of this. I'll be honest, um, it's not doing it for me. I think had it been a little more plain, it could have worked out. Um, I might take this down at some point and put up the swash in print that I have or maybe something else. I'm still undecided about this stuff. I, I like it, I just don't know if it fits and makes sense here. And plus, this part's a little too close to the desk. Again, the desk is pulled out right now, but it's a little too close and I'm not sure if it's gonna work out long-term. Um, we did put a lot of holes in the wall putting this stuff up because these are little sections. So if I take it down, I might just put like posters up like I had before. We'll have to see. Uh, now, I don't wanna seem like I'm not grateful. I am extremely grateful. This stuff is super expensive, extremely cool. 
And I'm a big fan of it. Again, I just don't think, given what we have right now, it really works. So, I mean, if you get back here with us and just kind of look, doesn't it seem a little out of place? So, I mean, you know, you pan this way, it's like really nice, dark, whatever. And then it's like, you know? So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Um, but also one more thing, one of my other favorite things, I love the super bass, uh, extreme traps thing in majiggies in the corner. Really cool. Up here though, we have the V cloud, Vi cloud, uh, however you pronounce it. Now, technically they do hang a little bit lower. Uh, we have them really high up because we have a fan right here. And, oh, I just got zapped. Uh, these things are super nice though. Think about the sound travels up and it's like, no, you ain't, not today. Also, people were asking, why did you not insulate the ceiling yet? We are just not yet because we're still running electric. We have the outlet up there, an outlet over there, an outlet over there, an outlet over there. Uh, we might even run another outlet, we have to see. Once all that is done, we are going to spray and in, insulate the ceilings and then we're gonna be closing off this middle section. Um, but we still have stuff, studio lights and stuff we have to hang so we need access to that. So stay tuned. I know a lot of people are like, why didn't you do that? It's not a good idea, dear, 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 dear. Don't worry. Overall, I really like these. I think they fit perfectly. I really like the cloud. I think they fit perfectly. If you listen to the rap song at the end, he mentions the cloud, which I think is cool. Uh, and then this stuff is just kind of where I'm undecided. So I would love to hear your feedback. Should we try and pay to get someone to paint each little section? Again, they're like in fours. So this part comes out, this part comes out, this part comes out and do like alternating swashing colors. Would that look cool? Uh, or should I just put posters up? Or what do you think? Should I take this down? I mean, realistically, I'm pretty positive I'm just taking this down, uh, which sucks because it's super nice in terms of like thickness. It's probably gonna help with sound a lot. I mean, that's what it shows in the, you know, the proposal they sent us, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. I feel like we put all this time into, and money into getting the wool set up and I'm just not sure if I'm digging this. So yeah, that's life. So before we go, I just want to uh, give a quick shout out to today's sponsor. Thanks to Glowhost for sponsoring this episode. Need a new web host? Glowhost has you covered. They are industry leaders in support ticket response times, and most tickets get a reply in five to 15 minutes from an actual system administrator. They also have a live chat and 24 seven, 365 phone support. Their shared servers are hosted in USA and Canada. Meanwhile, their dedicated servers span across 18 different geographic locations, across the planet. And Glowhost is an EPA certified green power provider, which means they use windmills and stuff like that. So yay for the environment. And most importantly, they're not an EIG brand. And you may not realize it, but companies like HostGator, Bluehost, Site5, and a ton of others are all owned by the same company. So when you switch expecting better support and services, you're actually getting the same results. And unlike those guys, Glowhost has amazing reviews. Really, Google Glowhost reviews and see what you're missing out on. And thanks to Glowhost, we actually have a code and that code is swashin and you get 54% off your order. So visit the perfect shadowway.com to learn more. And yes, the perfect shadowway.com is a real website. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> So that's it for this episode, but stay tuned. We are about to start filming the next episode where we set up the monitors. That's gonna be exciting because Razer sent out the Razer Blade Stealth 13 inch. And what we're gonna do with the Razer Core that they also sent is power all three monitors from this little 13 inch laptop. So it's not here yet. I'm just like, this is where it, it will be, um, but it's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for that episode. And then after that, we should be getting the PC and all that other stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hit that like button, hit subscribe and get the heck out of my face. From the studio in the shed, the studio was spread. Who was on the level of what you only pretend that Philly? Take my Cheeto cup of keys and return a black widow when death at a relief. So we have these three boxes here that Matthew made me drag back here by myself with no help. They weigh like 300 pounds each or something like that. Um, I don't know which one has the, uh, let me ask Matthew which one has the instructions. <laughs> What's next when there's nothing left to expect? Then you look right above you and the clouds over your head. Get loud and bring a friend around until it ends. The whole crowd.
out thinking, man, how much did you spend? Not much, just four and four zeros. Turn this up for the 40k hero. Maddie P is swashing, and swashing is a profit. No profit from the impossible knowledge that he offers. No problem too tall, a size that's. He's holding a level, that shows how much we're just doing. making sure things are level. Bring back from the dead this ratty old shed. It's got everything you need but a bath and a bed. Don't panic, instead, sit back and invest your time and attention. It's time for direction. It's Thomas and Dexter. What's up, D? Alright, see you later.